Okay, so this video is going to have a look at what's actually happening when you take a solid and you heat it up and turn it into a gas. So if you take a solid and start to heat it up, it will turn obviously into a liquid. But the temperature will keep on increasing until it gets to a certain point where it won't increase anymore. Here, the energy that would have been used to heat up the solid is now being used to break the solid away from that fixed position so the particles can start to move, turning it into a liquid. The same thing will happen when you turn it from a liquid into a gas. The temperature will increase to the point where it evaporates but the temperature will stop increasing. That energy is now being used to break it away from the liquid so the particles can go off into the air. OK, let's have a look at a question then. So in the exam you might be given a melting curve that looks like this and you may get the question saying explain why the temperature does not increase at A and B. So we're looking here and here. What I'd like you to do is have a go at answering the question, so pause the video now and then unpause when you've had a go. Okay, let's have a look at the Mark scheme then. So at A, what's happening is the heat energy is being used to melt the solid, so you get one mark for saying melt the solid at A. And that's being done instead of raising the temperature, which is why it stayed flat. So melt the solid for one mark instead of raising the temperature for the second. At B, you've got a similar point to make. The heat energy is being used to evaporate the liquid or to boil the liquid for one mark and it's breaking bonds which is the second mark for that point. Okay, hopefully the state of matter graphs should be fairly straightforward to you now. If they are, you shouldn't have any problem with this review section which is to draw a melting point curve for any substance and then label where the substance is A, a solid, B, a liquid, C, a gas, D, melting, and E, boiling.